Hi guys, welcome back. So today, as you see by the title, we're gonna make sorrel. And you know, sorrel's a popular Jamaican Christmas drink. So now I'm heading to the store to get some sorrel. Come along with me, okay? See you there. Okay, and here's pimento. So well, guys, they do have some fresh ones, but they don't look as great. guys so now I am back home from um, getting my sorrel okay so I have a pot on the stove the water I'm just waiting for the water to come to a boil and then I'll show you okay so here are my ingredients I have cloves here this is about a tablespoon of clove I have a stick of cinnamon I have ginger here and I here's the water boiling and I put the peel of the ginger in the water to come to a boil. So after the water comes to a boil, we're gonna add the sorrel. And um, in fact, I'm gonna add the ginger and the cinnamon and the cloves now, okay? So that at least the broth of it will be stronger. Okay, there you go. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then take it off the burner and then we're gonna add the sorrel and let it steep for about eight, nine, ten hours, okay? So guys, so now our, bo our water is boiling. Turn off the burner. Pull the side. Okay, and now I'm gonna add my sorrel. Well, you can, well guys, I'm gonna say sorrel because somebody here name of, what's your name again? Javon, just ask me if I'm Jamaican. Why am I saying sorrel? Because I'm saying sorrel. All right, on the package it says sorrel, so I have to say it the correct way. But just for Javon's sake, I'll say sorrel. So guys, here we're gonna put our sorrel in the water. Okay, and we're gonna cover it. Okay, do not disturb this for the next eight, nine, ten hours, okay? So we're gonna let it steep here, cool, and then after, we're gonna, um, Flavor it. Flavoring means add your wine and your rum or whatever, okay? So let it sit here for 10 hours. So it's been several hours later and um, my sorrel is ready to um, to strain. So I have a strainer here, nice clean strainer. I have a nice, I have a clean glass bowl. And um, so now I'm gonna strain it, okay? So I'll show you all my ingredients for this sorrel. Okay, so you need sugar, guys. This is so deceiving takes a whole leap of sugar so this maybe about five six cup of sugar it's gonna take okay so here I have my way nephew white rum I have some um, sweet red wine here I also use this wine for bacon um, sometimes I'll use the red label but this one is really affordable and it's it's just as good as the red label it's red it's sweet you know just the same as using red label and I have um, this one here wind carnis wine this one's another good wine to um, bake with if you want to and it's and all of these a little bit of it is gonna make a big difference with this um, sorrel drink it's gonna have give it a nice flavor I also have some stone ginger wine forgot where I put it here in the kitchen but it's somewhere I'll get it stone ginger wine is excellent also for sorrel okay all right so Okay, so now I'm going to strain our sorrel. There we go. Guys, this smell like you can drink it already. See, there's a pimento seed in there. There's a ginger. I have a cinnamon stick. It smells so good, guys. Okay. And the sorrel itself, you can use it for, um, you can even make jam with it. You know, you can make jam with it or what do you call it? And you can like grind it, puree it, and use it for um, cakes. A lot of people are making um, sorrel cakes, I see. And you can also make, um, I think you could even develop a cookie recipe for your sorrel. Okay, so there we go. We strained it. See, there's nothing in there. Only juice. Okay, so now we are ready to mix it up. 
Okay, so there's our spoon. I'm gonna add the sugar now. I'm gonna add the sugar. As I said, guys, this is so deceiving. Probably gonna end up taking about four, five cups of sugar. Okay, there's one, two, three. Let's just try three and see how and see how that is. See how red our sorrel is? Look at that. So guys, now I'm going to do a taste test, okay? I have my spoon here. Honestly, that's enough sugar. That's about two and a half cups of sugar. That's enough sugar. And it's not much sorrel anyways. I think this is about maybe two liter, maybe two and a half liter. Now, I'm going to add, now I'm going to add some wine. Here's some wine. I'm going to add wine to this. Okay, so as I said, add about half cup. There we go. With the wine, that's the uh, Mo, Mo, Mo Gin David Concord. And this one is Wincarnes wine. Okay, so this one, a quarter cup. Quarter cup. Here, here we go, guys. This is our way in a few white rum. Add the whole bottle. No, 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 no. Joke, joke, joke. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add about, let's say about three tablespoons. One, two, three, or two. Make it two tablespoons, guys. You wanna get drunk. Okay, this is smelling nice. Look at that, guys. Still nice and red. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is, um, here's my jar actually. Here's my jar. I have to store my sorrel in. So I'm going to add pimento seed to the bottom and maybe a little piece of ginger to the bottom just to keep the strength of the sorrel. That's exactly what I'm going to do because I love the taste of the pimento seed and the ginger. You know, it's my preference. If you don't like too much gingery, then you can just, you know, omit it or whatever. I have this Royal Jamaican dark rum spice rum and it's a spice rum so this is perfect so I'm gonna add let's see maybe about oops a tablespoon there we go hmm now I would say our sorrel drink or as what Javon would say sorrel drink perfect Okay, we're going to store it in the bottle and I'm going to leave it on the counter for a few hours before I chill it in the fridge okay I just want to develop that you know that strong ginger and pimento flavor and I'm telling you you leave your sorrel in the fridge for a week oh beautiful 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 this is the one I bought today it says yeah see Jamaican allspice and it says pimento so I'm going to put about uh, I don't even count really guys maybe I'll put about 10 seeds at the bottom they're really tiny okay so I'm gonna put about 10 of them okay so this is it this is what I'm putting into our jar see the jar there's our pimento seed at the bottom now there's our ginger okay and I'm gonna pour into I'm gonna pour it into the jar okay here we go That is Christmas. Oh, guys, it's full. And I still have some here. Oh, since this is full, I'll just drink the rest of this. <laughs> no, I'm going to bottle it. I'm going to bottle it. Okay, so there we go. There is our tall glass, tall jar of sorrel. Okay, so guys, here it is. Here is our sorrel drink. It's all mixed nice with all our wine and our rum in here. And here's the, um, here's the jar that, um, that we made. So we have a taste tester. Can you guys guess who it is? <laughs> Hi, Christian. Hello. Hello. 
so yeah. excited to try this, guys, because this is my favorite holiday drink. Honestly. Excellent. Yes, it is. Yes, so it can is. I try? Yes, yes, yes. But you got to give our friends um, the first taste. There you go. There you go, guys. Yes, for me. Yes, yes, yes. How was that, Krista? Mmm. It's very gingery, <laughs> yeah. and I love ginger. Yeah. So this is like perfect. Yeah. Oh my god. Mmm. And it's I good. see you have a. I know cake in it's from you. <laughs> Paired nicely with my rum cake. Yes, yes, yes. Mmm. Mm. Perfect. Thank you so much, Kristen. Guys, make sure you try this. So, so good. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later. See you later, guys.